going to be building an online learning application. Okay, so it's going to be relatively simple compared to some of the production applications, um, but it, it's a good foundation. So we have our landing page. Um, we have a classes link. If we click there, we can see all the different classes. We can click class details. That's going to show us the, um, the class description, the instructor, and also any lessons. Okay, we have to be registered to register for this class or logged in to register for this class. So over here we have our login. This is for both students and instructors. So what I'm going to do is log in as an instructor. Actually, I'll show you how we can register first. So we'll say sign up free. You can choose either student or instructor. Let's choose let's choose student since I already have an instructor. So we'll say uh, first name Sam, last name Smith, street address something street, city. We'll say Boston, Mass. Oh one two two one. Email address something dot com. Uh, let's see. Username will be Sam. Password and sign up. Okay, so now we have the user. Let's try logging in. Sam and his password. Okay, so now we're logged in as Sam. We have no classes, obviously. Um, so what we can do is go to our classes. Let's say we want HTML5 and we can go ahead and register for the class and now it's added in our classes. If there's lessons we can view those. Okay, so here we have a sample lesson and we can view that. Okay, so let's log out and then log in as an instructor. Okay, so now these are the classes that I'm registered to teach. Okay, uh, of course we can view the lessons just like we could with the students, but we can also add a lesson. So let's say another lesson. Uh, oh, that's lesson number. So let's say four. Another lesson, we'll just say test and we'll add that. And now if we go to uh, HTML5 view lessons, you can see we have another lesson. All right, and we can log out. So very simple. As far as technologies, we're going to be using uh, Passport and Bcrypt for login. Um, we're going to be using Mongoose and MongoDB. We're going to use um, Express Validator and we're going to be using Express Handlebars for our templating engine, which is a nice break from Jade. All right, so let's go ahead and get started.